In this video, we're going to do an oil change on this Ford F-150. Now underneath the vehicle, we are at our oil pan. We have our drain plug, which is an 11 16 Before we crack this open, we want to make sure we have some kind of pan down to collect the old oil in. Also, make sure you have some kind of spill protection, just in case it doesn't quite all make it. So we're just going to open this up, let it drain right in. Now that we've drained our oil pan, put our plug back in. Remember before you do that to take a look at your O-ring here or your gasket. Make sure that that looks like it's in good shape. Ours is. Put it back in, tighten it up by hand. We'll torque it down to 20 foot-pounds. And then before we wrap this up for good, we'll clean this with some brake clean, get rid of the oil that's dripping so we can check later, make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, so now we're gonna remove our oil filter. Now it's horizontal, so which means there is oil in there. When you start to back this out, it's gonna to wanna to drip down. So have some kind of spill protection down. We're gonna use a tool here to go on the back of the oil filter and spin this out. Go ahead and remove your oil filter. Before we put our new oil filter in, we're going to come up here with a rag and we're going to clean the mating surface of where our gasket or o-ring meets up to make sure there's no debris there and we can prep our new oil filter for install so we have our oil filter and you can see we put just a little bit of oil in there already we're going to want to put some oil in here and get the inside of your filter coated and primed now because this oil filter goes on and mounts horizontally you do not want to fill this up but you do want to get a good coating of oil all the way inside your filter as much as you can one thing you can do is clean up the top here the best you can and kind of give yourself an idea of where you need to stop. So right here I can't even get full horizontal before it starts leaking so we're going to stop right here. We're going to take some of that oil, put it around the o-ring and we're ready to go to the vehicle. All right, so we're going to put our new oil filter in place. Now your oil filter really only needs to go on hand tight, but we do have a tool here. We'll just give this an extra little crank. And that's it. Clean up the excess oil that's spilled out. Okay, so now we're gonna fill our oil. First thing we're gonna do is find our dipstick. So we're gonna remove our engine oil dipstick. Just pull it straight out. And while we fill our oil, we're gonna set this aside. Now we can remove our engine oil fill. Set that aside. Put in our funnel. And this vehicle is gonna take six quarts, 5W20. Now that you have six quarts in your engine, you're gonna to wanna to put your dipstick in. Seat it all the way down. You'll notice at the back of your dipstick, there's an area for you to sit it all the way down. Go ahead and pull that back out. We're gonna check the oil level. So typically I never believe the first read. So I'll wipe that off without paying any attention to it. Go right back in again. So you're gonna to wanna to check your oil level. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it is between the hash marks and the arrows here. If you're on the low side, it tells you, go ahead and add some until you reach the top. 
where you are full. Then you're going to want to run your vehicle, bring it up to operating temperature, and then shut it down, let it sit for a few minutes, and check your oil once again. If you need any at that point, go ahead and fill. If not, you're all set there. We can go ahead and remove our funnel and put our oil cap back on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.